Hi, this is Derek with Your Optic, and today I'll be showing you some tips on how to set the ballistic turret on a Swarovski rifle scope. Now for a hunting scope, you want to keep the turrets as simple as possible, yet you still want to have the capacity to make a shot out to a few hundred yards. So Swarovski has a turret system that's been out for a few years now, where it has a series of color-coded points on the turret that will correspond to a certain distance. And that distance will depend on what you're shooting and what your preferences are. So for how to set this up, you do need to do a couple things as far as getting the ballistic information. Now this is a Z5, three and a half to 18 by 44. And once you have your zero set on this, you have 13 and a quarter MOA of usable travel to make your shots. Now how far that can go really depends on the caliber that you're shooting primarily. Today this Tika is a 223 and uh, that'll max out somewhere around the 550 yard mark. If you have something like a uh, 22 that's only going to be about 130. Uh, a uh, lightning fast 6.5 PRC is about 750 yards in that same 13.25 minutes of angle. So to, to uh, set that up, you'll wanna get a ballistics chart and plug in your data for your load and your environment to see exactly what that would look like. I made one right here for us. Now this is with a 50 yard zero, which I've just confirmed. And I, I uh, chose 50 because I don't mind being about one inch high at 100, and they're about dead on, maybe a little bit low at 200. That means I don't have to really think about a shot if it's from point blank out to around 200 yards. So today we'll be making shots at uh, 200, 3, 4, and 500, and I have some other data here in between. So we have yards right here, we have the MOA drop here, and we have the number of clicks. Now, number of clicks is important because there's no numbers on the ballistic turret. So when you're setting it up, you do have to count clicks. Um, I have a, a positive notation on the MOA if the shot's gonna be above the zero and a, a negative for when it's gonna be below. So these numbers here are gonna be the ones that we uh, uh, make use of once we start getting out to the uh, uh, distance. Now, when you're setting up this turret, you gotta make sure that you uh, have a, a, a very good idea of how far you wanna make a shot. You only have three reference points on the turret, so you wanna make sure that you don't space them too far apart. I'll come back to that here towards the end of the video. Now, with the ballistic turret, not all these Swarovskis have the exact same travel. Like I said, this one on the Z5 has uh, 13 and a quarter. On the Z3 models, you have less. On the Z6 and 8, you have more. We'll list those details at the end of the video. And uh, today though, we got some targets out there behind me and we're gonna make a few shots and see what's what. All right, so I've confirmed a 50 yard zero. Now we're gonna go right to 200 yards. Now with uh, the rest of my dad is good, Gonna be about one inch high at uh, 100 so we don't need to really mess about there to set the ballistic turret you'll need this little Swarovski uh, little quarter size keychain thing here it helps to remove the top turret without scuffing it and the little uh, piece here will help you to get your zero and set the zero stop uh, mechanism on it so basically when you're starting to set it up you want to take off these little top parts here there we go Kind of set those aside. All right, so according to my chart, 200 yards is a uh, half minute low, but we're, just to prove a point, I'm gonna aim dead on from my 50 yard zero, and we should only hit it about an inch low. <laughs> Target spinning a little bit, so I gotta have to time this. Oh. 
Okay, so as predicted, we're a little bit low. We're gonna head on down there and see how low and then start to work out the uh, distances. The next marker that we're gonna set on this is gonna be 300 yards. Okay, so we just made a group at 200. I'm pretty happy with it. It was a little low as predicted, but not too low. I mean, if this was a common target for a uh, 223 like this Tika, um, the coyote, a groundhog, something of that nature, it'd still be a pretty clean shot. And if you ever need to, just favor up just a little bit and you'll be all right. So we're gonna go to 300 yards now. I'm gonna use the uh, green marker for it. If we check my mega chart here, 300 yards, three MOA, just 12 clicks. So we're on top of the turret here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, before I put my ring on it, I'm gonna do a group, and then if I like it, I'll put a ring on it. Okay, so this is actually a good opportunity. So those shots missed a little low. I don't have a uh, chronograph reading uh, for this ammo, so I just took a guess, guessed a little optimistically. So now what? Now you just gotta bring the turret up a little bit to uh, counteract that, but instead of just blindly going through your turrets and just trial and error and wasting ammo, there's a way to quantify that. That target down there I know is 10 inches tall at the shoulder. Now with one MOA at this range being about three inches, that would put us about three low. So if we take my turret here, I gave it another three MOA, which is a pretty big difference between uh, what I was expecting and uh, what the rifle actually told me. So no matter, we're gonna try again with the newfound info. And uh, we should be okay here in a few moments. So let's load this back up and have at it. There you go. <laughs> All right, so that group, right where I wanted it on the elevation. So if you don't make the first shot, if your dad is off, not a huge deal. That's why you come out here and you test it. So uh, I was a good bit off on that first calculation. So with the, uh, the act of knowing how big your target is, quick little conversion to MOA, brought the shot up. First two shots were that far apart, right where they should be. The uh, third one was a little bit to the left. Wind started to pick up here. Uh, speaking of wind, don't worry too, too much about windage here. You're getting the data for your elevation. So as long as you know that your zero is good, you can forgive a uh, wind deflection left to right. As long as you get the elevation, then you're good. So I'm gonna reload here. We're gonna go out to 400. All right, so after a little hiccup on 300, we were able to get a nice zero at after a calculated correction. Now, we're gonna to go to 400. This says minus six. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna be accurate if the 300 was off by the amount that it was. So, we're gonna take a little swag here. I'm gonna dial it to, to eight, which is 32 clicks. I've already dialed a couple, so I just need to go up from, let's see here, 12 to 32. Hold on a second. Go back to nothing. Okay. When in doubt, you just go back to your zero. 
and then count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2. Okay. Let's make some noise. I can see already that that's a good start. Huzzah. All right, so that looks quite good. Now if I do a little measurement here, I could bring that up a little bit. If you can keep the rifle steady, you can dial your turret while you're looking through it, take the reticle from where the target was, and uh, center up the reticle where your bullets actually hit, and uh, that will work. So, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put yellow on it, drape that right down, and if we have enough room, I know we've been uh, pretty off with the calculations, if we have enough room here, we're going, to go, we're going to go out as far as we can. All right, we're out to 500. Uh, the data that I've created has not been fantastic. So I've made another semi-educated guess. Hopefully the lines on that target will help me if I uh, hit it low, which I expect to. I saw that kick off the left edge. I want to favor it right just a little bit just to get that data. Keep the same elevation. Wondrous. So, um, so, yeah, so the gaps between those, uh, those black lines, I'm not sure if you can see it up there, but they're, they're, uh, they're five inches at 500 yards. Five is a uh, one minute, you could say. So if you average all those, we're about half a minute high. So I do have some more ammo. So I'm gonna bring it down by one, two clicks, which is half a minute. Let's see what happens here. All right, that, uh, that looks quite happy from here, so I guess that was a pretty good guess. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, take the red one, people usually save the red one for the furthest shot, the green one for the closest shot, I'm gonna drop that in to there. Then I can take the turret cap, Actually, spin this back to zero first. There we go. Now I can take my turret cap, drop that on, spin her in nice and taut. And we're good. So I can go from point blank to 200 really without even thinking about it. I can dial to 300, 400, 500 in just a few seconds. Now the areas between the distances, if you have a target at 450, um, with how the data is at this distance, you don't really need to worry about too much. You can really just split the difference. So you can quite, quite visibly see the difference between the red and the yellow and just go halfway in between. Ditto for the yellow and the green. Um, yeah, the bullet's gonna drop a bit more between, say, 450 and 5 than 
4 and 450, but um, with the amount of precision that these things are designed to do and the, and the type of precision that you'll typically need for a hunt, you can uh, don't need to burden yourself with that. Just go about uh, halfway in between and you'll be good. So you can also do that for thirds and quarters, targets at 425. Just go a quarter of the way between four and five and you'll be all right. Um, so that is going to do that. I'm pretty happy with how this teak is shot, that's for sure. Um, even with my, uh, my uh, miscalculations on, on the ballistics, we were able to make this work. And uh, yeah, uh, Swarovski Z5, uh, 3.5 to 18 by 44, 223 out to 500 yards without too much trouble. Well, with hunting season rapidly approaching, I do hope that this video was helpful in uh, trying to figure out uh, how best to set the Swarovski ballistic turret. Uh, as far as how to do the actual movements of it, it's uh, very easy. The manual will uh, walk you through that. But the point of this video was to help you get the ballistics and get you to set your distances uh, very easily. I know ammo is pretty tough to come by right now, so you definitely want to make each one count. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at uh, uh, Your Optic. And uh, also please like this video, subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and we'll uh, see you next time.